<laughs> All right. Well, I've got this stack of pecan here. I milled it up at my parents' house a couple weeks ago. <laughs> It's by no means dry, dry enough to, to make anything out of it, so I'm going to try something that I haven't done before. I'm going to take one of these smaller pieces, which is this one, and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to try to dry it in our, uh, in our oven in the house. So I've never done that before. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on it, so I, I'm not sure how, you know, how long it actually do it or the heat or anything, so uh, we're just going to cut it up and we're going to try it, and if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. We'll, uh, we'll leave, the, leave the wood out to just dry on its own. So let's get started. Just for reference, uh, to see what kind of drying that it actually does, and see what the moisture is before we put it in the oven. Right here, where I just cut, just to see how dry it actually gets. Looking like anywhere from 19 to 22. Yeah. Somewhere around 20 percent where we're at right now, and I'd like to get it down to somewhere between 7 and 10 percent before I start working with it. So. We put it in the oven. Just thought of something before I put it in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and debark it just because if it does dry out and the bark falls off, I don't want all that in the oven. For one, I don't want to clean it up. For two, I don't think it would catch on fire, but I'd rather not take that chance. So let's debark this thing. And by the way, I know some people say pecan, but I'm sorry, you're wrong. I mean, when you eat a piece of pecan pie, when you get done with it, do you throw your paper plate in the trash con? No, you throw it in the trash can. So it's a pecan. And there you go. That's, that's your fun fact of the day. Okay, so it's been about two hours at 200 degrees. I don't know if anybody else has done this, and this is another situation where I wish there was smell of vision because these things smell like a pizza cooking. So I'm gonna take them out, take them outside, then we'll hit it with the moisture meter and see see how much uh, progress we make. We got a reading of about seven percent. Okay, that's reading about 12%. That's not bad. May put these back in there to bake for just a little while longer and see if we can get that on down to below 10. Okay, so I um, ended up leaving this these pieces in the oven for another couple hours. I think total ended up being about four, four and a half hours. Uh, two hours is just not enough for a piece this, this thick. It's it's right an inch and three quarters thick. Um, Got it down to just over 10%. I think that I'm gonna be fine with that. We'll see how it goes. If it blows apart, it blows apart. I haven't wasted that much wood. Uh, this is all just one big experiment for me. So I'm gonna take it and uh, take it over to the joiner. We're gonna square up some edges and then resaw it because I definitely don't want a pizza peel that's you know an inch and three quarters thick because this thing is still heavy. Uh, I'm probably gonna resaw it down to somewhere around five eighths of an inch and then we'll run it through the planer and get it down to about a half an inch. Uh, so yeah, let's just get it going.
So I had an idea while I was resawing all those boards, and that was to book match them. So uh, what I've done is on my jointed edge, I labeled each one with a letter and then some arrows pointing to uh, where they got resawed. So then I can open them up and the grain should mirror each other. So I've labeled all of them because really only one of them is gonna matter, the one right in the middle, but I guess we'll just see which one that looks the best and I don't know, maybe it'll turn out cool.
Well, that's it. That's my second pizza pill that I've ever made. Uh, I think that it turned out great. Having the, uh, the template really helped. Uh, first of all, just laying it out to make sure that I like the, how the grain looked. But second of all, as you could see, I was able to just flush trim it. So uh, it came out perfect and it was symmetrical and it was very pleasing to the eye. Um, I don't have it here with me to show uh, for the outro, but I do have my new shop partner. This is Daryl. Fix it. My name is Daryl. Uh, you'll see him in the background of a lot of shots uh, from now on. Of course, he'll be blurry and you know you won't be able to tell if it's really him or not and there'll be a big debate about it, hopefully. Uh, but this is Daryl and he's my new shop partner. So thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're enjoying these videos. These are a lot of fun for me to do. And I'm gonna keep doing them for as long as they're fun. And when they start becoming not fun, then you never see me again. So thank you for sticking around to the end. And remember, if you're not subscribed, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.